What is going on guys? It has been a while <laughs> since I last recorded. I, th I can't even remember when my last video was. I think it was like a year ago ish, give or take. But the past two years I've been skimpy on uploads. Um, yeah, it's been a busy, uh, <laughs> been a crazy couple years as for all of you, I'm sure too. Um, but yeah, I was, I, I was just inspired. I was inspired, man. To upload again i saw um one of my old mons friends vulpix03 um uploaded like last week um i was like you know what i don't need to do this consistently if i don't want to i'm just gonna have some fun so yeah i whipped this team together in like two seconds um so it's probably quite weak to a lot but um but yeah i still want to show my builder just in case in the couple tours I'm in right now, people like look at that shit, but not that anyone would. Um, but yeah. Alright, let's just get right into it. So it seems just like banded Zapdos offense, Scarfini, DD Knight, uh bullshit, you know. Pretty, pretty standard stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I want to use Zapdos, so of course the one time someone has an H slash I have Zapdos. Okay. <laughs> So looking at the matchup, um, my Zapdos' is Brave Bird is still pretty threatening. His resists are these two things, uh, Coco and Aegislash, which take a lot since it's probably a more offensive Aegislash on this build. Um, Dragpult, he doesn't actually have a Ghost Resist. His sponges for that are going to be Swamper and Primarina. Um, but yeah, that's going to be a good thing for me. My Landers is quite threatening. Earthquake hits everything, and I can Toxic Torn. Uh, Ferrothorn guards well against like Coco, Pert, um, Aegis Slash to an extent, Pre Marina. And Power Whip's gonna be nice this matchup for Pre Marina and Swampert actually. So, uh, D Knight can win provided I chip the Swampert um, and Pre Marina a little bit. Scarfini, um, it's not great. It's not the best here, honestly. I might just try and trick something. Um, but yeah, that being said, um, I love my Ferrothorn early. It has a pretty decent matchup versus everything. It doesn't lose me too much if he leads with Kartana. This is like worst case scenario, honestly, but it's nothing that I uh, that I can't deal with. Now, he could be Heat Wave. He could definitely be Heat Wave. If not, you would knock or taunt here. Um, either way. I might as well scout for Heat Wave, because like, I, like I said, Feeny's not that important here. He has have Heat Wave, okay. So I'm just gonna fire off a Moonblast here. It'll do a good chunk on max special attack. So he goes for the knockoff, that's fine. I'm just gonna go right for the trick. Um, I'll take something's item. If I take this thing's boots, that's gonna be pretty great. Oh, he was a Salt Vest. I have not seen that in a while. He was a Salt Vest, okay. That's actually great that I got rid of that though. For, for Dragapult. Now, I do die still to Hurricane, provided he lands. Um, uh, God, I hate, like, just, like, calculating this early, but I don't want to just, like, throw this away. I just want to see if my Dragapult um, kills this Torn. I don't think it does. That was nothing. But he's got to be max special attack, right? He took 36 from Moonblast with his Assault Vest. Um, he took 36 from Moonblast with his Assault Vest. So he's not max HP. Oh, wait. Yeah, he's just like max special attack Assault Vest. Yeah. So, so he should die to... It's a Dragapult then, right? No Assault Vest. Takes 60 men. I'm just gonna sack this. He hits two, which is like whatever. I was gonna like pivot, do some whack pivoting shit there, but it's fine. Um, I'm just gonna go right for it. <sighs> Cause he shouldn't stay in. I was, I was Draco. Um, cause it's a roll for Shadow Ball to kill. Yeah, and I'd rather just kill this, and since he's flying, Misty Terrain doesn't 
Exactly, and I'm fine with Primarina. There's no HP fire, because um, I have power with Ferrothorn, so even if he's sub calm mind, it's not really a huge deal. And like I said with the lead matchup, this is completely fine. Um, uh, Kartana coming in, this is fine. I have like multiple answers for this. I have a defensive hel helmet lander, so that looks like scarf damage. And there's no reason not to click Earthquake here. Like I said, if I get Chip, because basically, I'm assuming he's Scarf. I don't see a Life Orb or anything. That's definitely not banded. So if I chip the Swamper to Primarina, um, like I said, oh, that did nothing. I want Toxic. Toxic. I'm going to Toxic, because I figured he would Rocks there. Um... I'll see you. Mm, yeah, I'll U-turn. Because I should keep this um, as a sack later. And yeah, and Spike is better versus him anyways. I could knock here on the incoming Kartana. Um, slash Aegis Slash. Slash Aegis Slash. Um, but I like Spike. I like Spike. I think Spike's going to be important here. Um because if I can put that Primarina in range of my... And the fact that he's Ice Beam, getting rid of this is great for D-Knight. Yeah, so all you really need to do is get up some spikes. Um, uh, I'll just get up my max layers. Um, yeah, I'll just get up my max layers. I'm fine with this taking damage. Because at this point in the game, I Primarina is going to be taking those spikes. I guess he could be Scarf Fog Cart. Or Fog Coco, but I guess if he's Boots Fog Coco, it's kind of whack. But yeah, I can just sack. I could go Zapdos here too. Because, like, what? Use Sacred Sword or Knock here, like always, right? Um, So I want to go Zapdos. But actually, yeah, I'll go Zap Zapdos because I need, I need Landers healthy for, for, uh, for Coco just in case that gets out of hand. Because my Ferrothorn, I let my Ferrothorn get weakened. Um, and yeah, I think Brave Bird kills this. Um, Brave Bird should kill this, even if he goes Aegis. Oh, that did a ton. 23, I'll take that chip for sure. Um, do I sack Ferrothorn or this? I'll sack this. Um, he actually Shadow Balls are there, which is great for me. Um, oh, he's not. He's not choice locked. Well, that's actually great information. 240. Um, this is actually a tough turn. This is actually kind of a tough turn because there's no way your max speed. You're not. You're not gonna be plus speed on this. Um, let's think this through. Landorus, sack ferret. Yeah, I think Landorus is the play because I want my multi scale on Dragonite. And yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Um. Yeah, so he can only bring in... Oh, he goes Coco. So he's Specs. No, he's not Specs. I will just knock off here. Oh, he's Magnet Coco. Okay. He's Magnet. Alright. Well, that means I just Dragon Dance with Dragonite and then win, so... It's not really a huge deal. That's game. Yep. I guess I could get parried, so I sh I could lose if I go pull and then he like crits a bunch of shit with cart, right? So this is probably the right play. Yeah, that should be game. Please don't, thank you. All right, yeah. And cart can't kill me even with a scarf hit. Um, actually, did I fuck this up? This kills, right? I'm max special. I'm max attack. And your your specs, so. Um. Cause I'm Jolly plus one earthquake to 79. Yeah. Yeah. This is D9. That's why I got those spikes up. Yeah, and I just earthquake. D9 cleans up there, which is great to see. I guess if he crit there. Eh. It's all, all, always a thing to look back at, right? Um, but yeah. Oh shit! What the fuck? This. <laughs> if he, I would say this team is super fire. If he had something over Chansey, I'm like, 
but he doesn't. If you have like a grind, if you have like a Landorus here or a Garchomp, this would be a pretty fire team. But he does not. And I don't have an electric type, so. Um, yeah, so Trick from Fenia is phenomenal here. Catching Ferrothorn, Chansey, or Blessy is going to be great. Um, great, great, great for me. Uh, and Dragapult is definitely most expendable here. <laughs> he has a Chansey and a Blissey. Ah, oh, man. This is a tough matchup, actually, because Zapdos is walled, Dragapult's walled, Landorus is walled, actually, by Zatu. Um, Ferrothorn is pretty great here with Knockoff. Um, I'm going to have to lean on Dragonite. For Dragonite to win, I have to chip the Ferrothorn. Ideally, get rid of Zapdos because... Um, just because of static so and i also need to chip keldeo a little bit so this is tough this is a tough matchup for sure i'm gonna leave with my feeny uh, ooh. this is tempting this is very very tempting to just trick this because if i take this thing's boots and i get rocks up then my zapdos i think that's actually the right play Cut, mm, yeah because I, I i can deal with keldeo very easily with like everything so oh great 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 that's really good for me and he was helmet which is interesting um so it could be teleport rocks all could be coming out here teleport rocks landers doesn't really do anything this game and he should always go zatu here um okay so you would have let me just get rocks up there. Um. Hmm. So Dragapult like telegraphs the fire move. This is spikes. I think I have to go Zapdos. Um. I think I have to go Zapdos. This is really tough. Like Z Zapdos is such a threat for this team. Um, Cantonia. I'll CC because if he stays in, it's great for me. That did nothing too. He's leftovers. Um, he roosts. I'm gonna try and toxic. Oh, perfect, perfect. Actually, he probably is healed though. What am I saying? Right, if he's toxic. Um, if he's tox toxic Zapdos, that means he shouldn't be able to touch Ferrothorn. I guess he could be no defog, but um, I guess he could be no defog. Oh, that didn't do enough. I'm, I've been lucky not getting static to. I guess Dra Dragapult's fine here. Um, and I'll just drop a Draco. I'll just drop a Draco. Oh, he stays. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. That's really good for me. That's great for me, actually. Um, I'll just go Feeny. He is a sub calm mind. Okay. Should I defog here? No, that doesn't make sense. Goes Ferrothorn. Um. Alright. I could trick this, but which gets rid of its leftovers. But gives him a helmet. I think knocking this is just better, right? See gyro balls. Yeah, knock is free here. Um as we trade knocks there. Now the question is, do I wanna spike? Let him get up spikes. I'm gonna hard zap this here. I don't think because you either body press if you have it there. You never lead sheet, even if you knock. So the question is, do I brave? Well, braper does kill this, so I'll just click it. Because if you go Zatu, yeah, that's great for me. Obviously amazing for me. Um, this is kind of a threat. I do. I should keep this. This kills everything with CC at this point. There's no reason to sack it. Dragpult does have Infiltrator. Yeah, I'll just go pull. I don't need it. Because I can just Shadow Ball. Um, even if he Calm Mines, I should still do a KO. 
a good blissy play there um for sure now teleport toxic seismic toss um oh, let's think this through i like the idea of keeping landorus but i don't think i need to yeah because i just kind of want to yeah, I just want an Earthquake here. Even if he Scalds, it's like whatever, right? Um, so I can just bring out D-Knight now and Dragon Dance up. Even if he burns me. Um, this should KO. Oh, it didn't KO. Shit. I thought that killed, honestly. This could be T-Wave. I definitely could have just choked this, but I should, I should still be fine. Go Ferret Thorn here. Fire off a, a knockoff, honestly. I'll just lay up spikes. Um, we'll trade spikes here. Um, question is spike. He brings out Keldeo. I have Power Whip. If I kill Keldeo, then my Zapdos just auto wins with CC. So yeah. All right, yeah, so we just whip here. Ideally, he just Calm Minds or Scalds and I kill him. Um, but he Secret Swords, which is the correct play. Um, but at this point, I die with pull, right? I think I do. That was DD. Earthquake will 2 KO him. Oh, that did nothing. But he's toxic. Did I just fuck this up? Probably. Oh, fuck. I think I just lost. Not yet, but... Sack Feeny here. Because Pull dies, right? Uh, this is really awkward. <sighs> so awkward, dude. I'll sack Pull here as he S tosses. He's just gonna toxic, so um, I'll just Draco and sack this. Doesn't matter. He can't go into Keldeo even with um, the thing, so. Um, Cause like I sack this, whatever. He, he yeah, he should just keep recovering, but um, I bring out the thing, the uh, Zapdos after, then he brings in Keldeo because this is 12.5%, so I live another rocks. Brings up, because he has to sack Blissey. He has to sack Blissey. Man, I was Scarf, dude. Should be over. Because there's no more helmet now since I tricked it. He brings out Keldeo. So, I live rocks. I think I go D-Knight. All right, let's, how do we win this 100%? If I double into Zapdos as he Scalds or Secret Swords and I die, I will lose. If I Earthquake, I kill the Keldeo, he loses. If I Earthquake into Chansey, that's bad for me. I think I DD here. Yeah, like if I double, that would have obviously been great for me. I'll quake here. Um, I have to roost. Fuck. I, I should have doubled, dude. I should have doubled. So I'll live a hit from Keldeo, right? Because I'm at 85. Yeah, I lose. All right. 
fuck. I should have doubled, dude. I should have doubled there. Um, I should have also defogged at some point there. Um, what else could I have done? Brought in. I mean, he, I don't know, man. Because, like, I'm really bad. <laughs> I mean, he also had a 100 0 matchup, but he played really badly. Like, he let me kill Zapdos. He let me, um, whatever. All right, so we have an actual team here, which is good to see. Um, yeah, so my Zapdos is pretty great here. This is actually why I have Thunderous Kick, so I can just, like, hit the clefts and the cores on the switch and drop their defense and just spam it. Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, so Zapdos is pretty great here. It can 2 KO pretty much everything. Um, and the only thing he has faster is Dragapult. Um, my Dragapult's pretty awful here again because he has a Blissey, a Clef, and a Kamo'o, and a Corviknight, and a, and a Melmetal, and his own Dragapult. Um, I'm sure Speed Tie. Uh, Landorus checks... I don't know what Kamo'o is, it could be Clangorous Soul, it could be like DD, but it's probably defensive. Um, so to all I can really do is like Toxic that, otherwise Corv and Clef just wall it. Um, but yeah, chipping down Melmetal, Ferrothorn, Ferrothorn's pretty great here, Leech Sheet's amazing, Leech Sheet plus Knock is always, always great. Um, D Knight can win if I get rid of the Clef and he's not Iron Defense Corv. So I need to figure out what kind of Corviknight he is. Um, all that being said, I like Feeny as a lead. Because tricking Clef will help out Dragonite. Um, I don't really need my Scarf this game. It's only for like Dragapult anyways. Um, which I'd be either way. Um, yeah, so I'll trick here. So, yeah, he knocks my left over. So he's knocked or locked into knockoff. Excuse me. Um, I kind of just want to trick again. Because, like, even if he stays in, it's not even that bad for me. Because I just trick again. But this way I get something's item. Yeah, I get Blissey's Boots, which is great for me. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have a scar for anything. But, yeah, this is pretty good for me. This is... This could be Rocks. Either this or Kamo's Rocks or Clef's Rocks. I don't know. I feel like this shouldn't be rocks with Kamo and Clef. I guess what's the worst case here? I mean, if I go Ferrothorn, it lets potential Melmetal, lets Kamo come in, which could do some shit. Uh, Dragapult's fine here. It doesn't let up offensive pressure, and he can't status me since I'm under under terrain, and they don't run Shadow Ball since Spectre is gone. Um, yeah. They do not run Shadow Ball anymore. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a new mic. So, like, that was kind of the reason I originally stopped uh, recording for a while. Because my old mic broke. And this is, like, a high-quality shit. It's not... I didn't get it for recording, like, my voice. I have for music stuff. But it works for my voice. And it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Hopefully, the levels are okay. I'm tempted to flamethrower here because, like I said, Dragapult's value is pretty low here. Um, yeah, so 57 on the first hit. I don't think that's banded. That's not Assault Vest, though. Oh, he's obviously left over. Okay. <laughs> and now this is that opportunity where I just start to click Thunderous Kick. Um, if he goes Dragapult, great play. I don't think he would. I think he would go Clef first, if anything. Clef is super expendable. Um, oh, he's Protect. Alright, that makes things more interesting. Um, yeah, you shouldn't stay in here. You should keep your sack. For sure. Um, yeah. Feeny's fine. He brings in Pult. I'm just gonna fire off he should just U-turn into Bliss or Shadow Ball. 
Ferrith, I don't want that Kamalo coming in. Because Misty Terrain's up, so I can't Toxic it. He goes Hard Bliss. I do a good chunk to it. Um, Because if, if he teleports here, he can just go into Melmetal and protect and get all of his health back. This is really awkward. I forgot about protect. Yeah, because now he brings in Kamala, like I said. I have to go Feeny. I have to go Feeny here. He is toxic. Okay. So he knows I'm max speed and shit. So I'm going to go back to my Landers. All right. Perfect. He should go Corv here. But he toxics and misses, which is huge for me. That's really, really great for me. Um, I don't think he's going to toxic again. Um... Ferrothorn's fine, because now, uh, wait, teleport toxic soft boiled, you have to be seismic toss, right? I'll whip for chip, he's helmet corv, I'd like to knock that off, I'd definitely like to knock that off, um, we'll see if he is body press here, he should roost though, so I'll leech seed. Um, so body press, U-turn, potentially coming out here, um, or hard switch, what's worst case? Spike's fine here, I'd rather take the chip on this and let up some kind of pressure, yeah. Figured he would go into clef there, I'm just gonna whip, this is probably rocks actually. Um... He knocks off my helmet. That's completely, completely fine. Um, the fact that he's U-turn means he's not body press. Ugh, I need to chip this stupid clef. He brings out Corviknight there. I'll just close combat here. As he roosts. I'll CC again. Brings out Pult. Figured that would happen, but this is really awkward. I don't want to go Ferrothorn on a fire move. If he fire, I need to chip that cleft so D Knight can win, because I know it beats Corviknight, especially since the helmet's knocked off. But Blissey is toxic too. Uh, and Kamalo is toxic. This is really awkward. How. He does just Shadow Ball. Because I couldn't risk the fire move on Ferrothorn there. And now I have to go into it. Um, honestly, if I'm him, I go Melmetal here. Well, he's... No, he's not... Um, yeah, he's smart to go uh, uh, Corviknight there. Smart to go Corviknight. I'll be cheat. I unfortunately miss. Um... This is really tough, man. This is really, really tough. Um, he could just stay in here. There's like no downside. Um, I was whipped because he might go clef. This is probably protect as well. He presses. It does a million fucking percent. Ah, oh, this is so tough. Because he just goes Blissey here. Ah, oh, because I need to force progress. But I can't. Um. Because he just goes Corv. He goes... Cl okay, okay, hold up. There might be potential now. There might be potential. So I'll go Landers. I have to U-turn. I have to U-turn. For sure. Um, I must U-turn. I must, 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 must U-turn. Um, I want to spike... I 
think I need to spike. Just because I still don't know if he's Brave Bird, which is why I haven't, I haven't, excuse me, been going into the guy on, on Defog. Um, I'll go Feeny here. Um, double back into Zapdos. Yep. Um, he should always. Ah, oh, man. I'm going to Thunderous Kick here. Because he should never go Pult here, right? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Um, he sacked the Blissey. What does that mean? That means he can't Toxic my Dragonite with that. He still has one Toxic user left. Um, in Kamo'o, and that's not chipped enough to be in plus one Ice Punch range since it's just so fucking bulky. Clef is like, isn't really a factor at this point. All I need to do, how do I remove Kamo'o, dude? And he can just, okay. Because what, what percent's Feeny at? I think I have to sack Feeny. I think I have to sack Feeny here, right? Yeah, because I figured Flamethrower would be. Now you either... But if I'm dual wing beat, he shouldn't go Kamo'o. I'm going to DD because he doesn't, he doesn't know if I'm dual wing beat. He doesn't know if I'm dual wing beat. So this shouldn't... Unless he thinks he eats this. He does, okay. I have to chip this. I have to take this knockoff. Fuck. Great play, great play. I didn't think he would make that make that play. I think I lose now. I should have thought about that possibility. I figured he would just body press there. Um he should knock off here. Should just knock off here, but yeah, I think I think I lose now. Oh, he has wish too. I'll try and knock off potential Melmetal, but at this point, double iron bash protects. He could be earthquake toxic. He could have superpower. Could have body press. I don't think he'd be body press on this set. I think I have to go Landers though. Brings out Clef. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it at this point, cause like. See moon blasts. Knock off soft board with moon blast. If I was whip, because if he ever defogs, because how do I position this? He should always, because like I have to go Zapdos here on the defog. Okay, so we get the boost, but this Brave Bridge still doesn't kill him. All right, let's think. Does he think he needs Corviknight? Does he think he, does he realize that he needs Corviknight? I mean, does he realize he needs Corviknight? Does he realize he needs Corviknight? I think he does. I mean, what's the, I think Brave Bird's always the correct play here. Like, cause now he can't pivot in on anything. Um, I disagree with U-Turn there. I honestly think you just sack Melmetal at that point, because Melmetal doesn't really eat anything, except for potentially Ferrothorn, but you have Kamo'o and stuff, and it can't, like, eat anything actually on your team. Alright, now this is, this is what I was afraid of, because I knew this would come out after, because he, sh he has Shadow Balls here. I guess he could Flame. If I sack, if I sack this, choose Shadow Ball slash Flamethrower, because Clef's at 71. I might have to just go for Freeze on Kamo'o or Toxic Dodge. I'm surprised he went into it, because if I was dual wing beat, I would have just killed it. You know? I guess I could just sack Landers, but I want Rocks. 
But I think second Landers is the player who second is the play. Um, I think I have to sack Landers. How much does Shadow Ball? I'm. Oh, Shadow Ball does that much. Oh, I misplayed. I thought I thought I didn't get two KO'd. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for freeze at this point. On, um, cause he should go hard Kamalo. Here. I think I have to go for freeze. Um, I mean, I can still get out of this potentially, but. Yeah, he shouldn't let this get toxic. So I just get up my rocks here. Uh, I can maybe still do this, but it's really tough. So yeah, he brings out Clefable. Um, if I EQ, and I think I just EQ. Yeah, because he has soft boiled. If he moonblasts here, phenomenal play. And he wishes, so he knows. So he can just soft boiled here. Or he should just sack Corviknight, honestly. Because this probably kills him. Or he could go Melmetal, too. Man. I, I guess I go off his misplay, right? Yeah. I kind of had to. But, I mean, there's still potential, obviously. I can still freeze. I can still freeze. Um, yeah, because at this point he brings out Dragapult. Uh, I just sack Landorus and try and set up, really. That's really it. Or do I hard Ice Punch here? I could art. I think I just have to. Um, I think I double Zapdos get another but you should just sack melmetal and it's like the same thing right i mean maybe if he sacked he sacked clef which is one less freeze i have to get which is great for me right um yeah that's one less uh, there's potential there's actually potential hold up that was a misplay on his end because you have to go, I guess he could go Melmetal, but I mean, no matter what, I just sack this and go d Knight after and go for it, right? Um, man, this is coming down to the wire. This is coming down to the wire. Man, shouldn't have knocked off that cluff, but it's fine. All right, yeah, he goes Pult. I just sack this, Shadow Balls. All right, so gotta take a sip of water. So we go D night, All right? I'm gonna try and maximize my timer here by like waiting a, a little bit, but not too long, then clicking it so I can think. Um, D night. Do I DD or do I hard ice punch into Kamala? But if I hard ice punch into Melmetal, it's Cause I'm jolly, so I made this jolly specifically so I outspeed this stupid mon. Um, how much did Ice Punch do? It did 29, Jesus. So at plus one, I will two a kill Kamo. Oh, so I think I just have to go for that because I don't even, cause I only three a kill it now. So even if he goes hard into it, it doesn't really make much sense since my multi scale would be broken afterwards. And then his Dragapult would just be able to kill me. So if it did 30, how much did it do? 29, right? So I won't, so right now it's doing like 44, 45-ish percent. So I two a KO. Yeah, I'll ice punch here. I have to freeze, freeze. Yes. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay. I win, I win. And even if he didn't get frozen there, I think I still won. Even if, yeah, he has to go off me not being jolly, but I am. Because even if he didn't get frozen there, even if he didn't get frozen there, let's think. What would have happened, right? He toxics, 
unless he is even if he is ice punch that's not a factor um or whatever let's think if i so if i get toxic he would have had to get the play right next well he would have i would have earthquake the next turn um so if he went melmetal he would have lost there i 100 was going to earthquake the next turn because i couldn't have him go melmetal i could yeah i think i still won he would have had to get like a lot of protects on melmetal but it would have been close but that freeze obviously sealed the deal man that was a good game should i end it there yeah i've been recording for 40 minutes that's a good spot to end it only three games two and one should have won that second one man and played zapdos better maybe not let as many hazards go up definitely could have even if i just doubled at that end game i'll take a look at that to see how i could do that better but if you've made it this long thank you so much for watching um yeah i'll probably be recording again this was a ton of fun for me so yeah i hope you all have a great day goodbye